Hello and welcome to this print kiosk tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at uh, designing a template within Adobe Illustrator. Um, so let's crack straight on. Once you've opened up Adobe you'll be faced with this screen. Go on to print document. Give your document a name, can be whatever you desire. And now you come down to select millimeters from the unit scale. Just click on the down, drop down box and select millimeters. Come over to our size. This is actually set correctly already. Um, we're going to look at an A5 flyer today in portrait, but it could be the same for business cards. A4, the principle is the same, whichever size you have. So all you need to do is get your basic size of form, in this case A5 being 148 by 210. And we need to add 3 millimeters bleed to each edge for the printer. So that gives us 154 by 216. So just type this in. Come down, yours is probably going to look like this. But if you just drop on this advanced mode, make sure it's on 300 ppi. CMYK, some of yours will be on RGB. You can put it on RGB, it's not going to make a huge amount of difference. Printers like it on CMYK. Okay, click on that. And that will bring you up this box. Now this area in here is your pasteboard. This is basically your document once it's finished. It's a little tight to see there, so I'm just going to hold the control down and click minus. That brings it into view. Next thing we need to do is bring up some ruler guides. And there are two ways of doing this. You can go view. Uh, and within this it says show rulers. There it is. And up comes your ruler guides. Or, if you didn't want to do it and you want to do the shortcut, you could actually just right click show rulers. That's the same thing, depends on which way you like to work. I'm just going to bring that back up to size mode. Right, the important bit is bringing out your guides. So go over the ruler, left click with the mouse, hold it and drag it out. Set that three millimeters away from your edge. Now you'll be able to do this a lot closer than I will because you won't have the time constraints, but three mils from each edge on all edges just watch that because you're not actually at the top there you see so just grab that one again drag it up three mils and I come down to the bottom this is why I control minus because it's easier to see go in the ruler left click hold drop out a guide there we go now so this is our cut line okay everything outside of this line will be lost Okay, that's where the printer will cut. Let's just move that one in a fashion. If you can't get it just right, just use the arrow keys to nudge it across on the keyboard. Okay, everything with the inside of this will be kept. What we need to do now is add a second line. So do the same process again. Come to the ruler, left click, hold, drag, and drop, and put this one another three millimeters away from the original one. Now get these as close as you can. I'm just going to do it quickly to show you. Now this is your safety line as I like to call it. Basically, you should not have any text going over this first line. This is your cut line, this is the edge of the paper, this is your cut line, this is your safety line. Once you've got it drawn up like that, you basically have your template. All you need to do now is save that and you can use it over and over and over again. Okay, I've got one already drawn up here that I'm going to show you, just to show you the different, just open it up, the different ways text and images work with bleed so that you fully understand it. Just one second, just open that one. Okay, there's one already done. So as you can see, all the images, background images, come off of the edge of the paper, okay? That gives as full bleed so that when we cut back into this line you get a nice crisp cut line no white edges and it will look correct all the text within this image does not encroach on the safety line and therefore your print once cut will look correct if you push this image right up tight to this text line and then we cut there or if you pushed it over that text line, should I say, over the safety line, and we cut it, it's going to look very tight. It's not going to look aesthetically good, and and uh, it would be far better to keep it away from that line. So that's why you have the double line. 
Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for joining us. I hope it was informative. If you have any more questions or you're not quite sure, give us a call on 01761 416 931. Uh, Print Kiosk is an online printer. We have a fully automated system and we would be delighted to uh, print your goods for you. We also have a number of other videos on there, so please come along to the website, have a look around, uh, and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Thank you very much.